We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I have lots of minutes, many minutes, unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Traveling the system with you, Captain. Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. How can I be of assistance? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it! Blast! That's loud!
I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. on your mind. Absolutely. Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. are at stake. 
It's up to me, uh, up to us, to set things right. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned into total obedience. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you, people who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. No offense. to perceive the truth. Yes, according to the board and their narrow-minded scientists, you should be a pile of organic sludge right now. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? Right. So much for better, eh? I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. Hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. You're of survival were a mere 28 percent ah your old hibernation mask can you remove it yeah.
pigs make excellent test subjects. Also surprisingly nutritious. I hope you're not thinking of ingratiating yourself with the board. Chairman Rockwell and his cronies are not your friends. They might tempt you with promises of wealth, but don't be fooled. They're just using you for their own ends. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves? Welcome.
How can I be of assistance? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Where in Terra 2? Any crew traveling to Roseway will find themselves unofficially in officially uncharted space. Roseway has been removed from all Halcyon charts, and anything I could tell you, I can't tell you, because it's illegal. Why else do humans do anything? I believe the decision was a result of money squabbles. I wish I could say more, but as I previously stated, it is against Colony Ordinance C59-002Y. Goodbye. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Can we talk? This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. It doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. If you say so, I'm keeping a finger on the trigger all the same. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. No security. Not that I'm complaining.
That's a hurt. Something chewed clear through that armor. mistake. Is that gunfire? That's what I like about you, boss. 
your contempt for the beaten path. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Forget I said anything about that. Wish they tasted like Sissy Pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Oh, before I forget, Anticleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? 
Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the Raptodons? Oh, well, good luck. Now, we got the carpet in here. It's just a matter of... Ah, Orson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah, of course, because I didn't... I am Orson Shaw, Chief Behavioral Scientist. I was brought in to study the Raptodons. I was to ensure that, should a problem arise, our team is adequately equipped to deal with them. They are insatiably hungry, absolutely impossible to control in any fashion, and indeed appear to be powered entirely by hate. No amount of studying will enable us to control them, or even slightly sate their aggression. Not quite. We are now acutely aware of their weaknesses. Bullets through the head. Now, they got the carbon in here. It's just a... What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. I... why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Uh, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. I found an advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I need those schematics to modify it to output superheated air. It should quite easily burn through raptodon hides. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. I won't tell. The ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill, over the garage. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Sit down. Hey, boss. Can we get some Rizzos? 
So you'd send someone else on your damn school mission. I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Want to treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? I don't really know you. Roseway is supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Sure, not like I get many customers. I'm so glad you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. These people are wrong. Truth is, we've been established, closed down, renamed, reestablished, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years. Exciting times. Can't say I do. Any Cleo products satisfy all of our nutritional needs. At least they used to. My folks filled their whole pantry with all sorts of Annie Cleo products. These days, we don't get much in the way of variety. Maybe some tripicale pasta or some ketchup if we're lucky. I hear it's like that all over the colony. We eat what we can get and we don't get much. Technically, I'm not in business at all. Roseway closed down years ago. Corporate still sends us the occasional shipment of necessities through unofficial back channels. Of course, if something goes wrong, like one of our guards drinking himself to an early grave or raptodons running wild, corporate won't acknowledge we ever existed. Sure, you need something to clean raptodon blood out your clothes? I told you, you're staying put. You're not. High caliber kinetics. Uh, if we close the vent shaft, we can contain them.
You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Uh, Dr. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, uh, benefits. Whoa, slow down. Benefits? In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Oh, for... He's making enraptured, Captain. An aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. What? No? I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high, but I'm not making the drug. Sure, of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. If you have a buyer. I got a contact who wants to haul the entire batch to Byzantium. Help me out, I'll cut you in for a share. I'll even pay you before I am, when you deliver to me. Great! Uh, this is really gonna save my ass. So those charisma-enhancing benefits he was talking about, it was just blowing smoke, right? You're underestimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship, she's okay, but Lunsford has the highest rate of foot goals per game. But if you cross-reference with the skills of the opposing team, his hand goal rate plummets. What? <sighs> Lunsford plays worse against better teams. Blankenship plays better. Hey. Huh? I don't have time for this.
I got 500 bits on the Darling Steve. The here. Was that supposed to be the living quarters? Seemed about as livable as a coffin. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Uh, yes, yes, Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. Yes, yes, of course. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right, we were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here.
Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. You don't understand. He was my responsibility. All of the people stationed here were, are, ah, regardless of their thinking on the matter. If he has died, too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, and far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's something I've always been forced to contend with. And my colleague, Jameson, will you find him for me? Fifty Bit says this guy's already wrapped fodder. Toss ball is all about putting the ball in the goal zone. The best way to win a game is by getting the most body goals.
Looks like a great spot for an ambush. System up. Beginning security patrol. Heads up! They didn't want to tempt us, why'd they lock it up?
They're on. <laughs> Take your best shot, asshole. What you find?
stealing if no one sees. Maybe. What'd you find?
beginnings. Sanitation. Not required. <laughs>